Many of you were wondering when they could get back to church or temple or be with their religious communities. Well, religious services got the go-ahead to restart across New York yesterday with fewer than 10 people and social distancing guidelines in place. But this afternoon, President Trump declared places of worship essential. Two on your side's Jeff Proval has the latest about what it could look like for Western New York. Well, under the state's reopening plan, places of worship are listed under phase four, but that was met with a lot of criticism from religious leaders saying that it was too late in the process. So the state changed that guideline, allowing, as of yesterday, religious gatherings of no more than 10 people, social distancing needs to be followed and face masks need to be worn. Drive-in and parking lot services, they're also allowed. The Buffalo Diocese has put out guidance saying that church services will be gradual and that each parish needs to have cleaning supplies, holy water fonts emptied, and hymn books. They should be removed among many other steps. And a video message to parishioners, lead pastor Jerry Gillis of the chapel says that he's a bit disappointed that places of worship are in phase four. But only one of those is constitutionally protected, and that is the ability to assemble in worship. That's something that's a little different than going to a ball game or to a concert or those kinds of things. We also heard from Pastor George Nicholas of Lincoln Memorial United Methodist Church in Buffalo. He believes that keeping church gatherings under 10 is not really realistic and encourages people to continue to watch virtual church services. Now all this as the Trump administration plans to release new guidelines for places of worship to reopen. The president saying today that he wants them to reopen, but it is unclear exactly whether the CDC will recommend large gatherings. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perfall, Channel 2 News.